Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today's part 2 of the Synology DS, um, DS918 Plus, oh it's a terrible name, but today we're going to be installing these two M2 SSDs that we've got and also my four WD Reds 3TB NAS drives. This is going to be really exciting so follow me along and let's see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, so here I have laid down all the things that we'll probably need. I have the quick start guide, I have my iFixit set, in case we need screwdrivers, two M2 SSDs, and four WD Red 3TB NAS drives. Um, so yeah, I would say let's just get started with, um, first of all, looking into the quick start guide. So it seems pretty straightforward, there's not a lot of steps here, which is actually surprising being a hard drive, like a NAS enclosure. So, um, first step is to remove these trays. The second step would be to use clips and then mount your hard drive in. Then we need the screws. Where have I got the screws? Oh, do we actually, no, we don't actually need the screws. We only need the screws in a 2.5 hard drive. Okay, so we don't actually need these guys yet. And on the back, put your hard drives in. Ah, that's what the plastic key was for. If you haven't watched part one, which is the unboxing and the quick tour, then check it out. It's in the top corner somewhere, the link. You can just tap that. And then we're ready to go. Okay, let's get, let's get into this. So here we have the NAS. Let's just take out the first bay. So it was pull and release. Here we go. Here's our bay. It's, it's very nice. Nice layout and we want to insert our hard drives. So we're supposed to take off these two clips, like so. We are just going to drop in our hard drive. All right, and now once that's in, I guess we just clip these back into place. Okay, there's one. And there we have it, one hard drive is done. So it was actually pretty straightforward. So let's just do the rest for all three other drives. All right, last drive done. Slotting it into the NAS. And there we have it. So this installation didn't take more than five minutes. I don't even think it took five minutes. Uh, props to Synology, no screws required, no screwdrivers, no fimbling with that. So let's just take, well, now the NAS is heavy. So let's take this and I'll just grab my mouse pad. All right, so next up is the NVMe drive installation. So I've got two SSDs here, which are both 120 gigabytes. Um, these do not come provided in the box, so you'll have to purchase those separately. So you can choose how much gigabytes you actually want, depending on your usage. And let's get started. So the installation here looks pretty simple. So we've got two little trays here. Okay, here I am encountering one problem. I don't know which way they go in, because they have the notch on both sides. So I am... I'm not sure which way they go in. Okay, correction, I found out that one notch is slightly smaller than the other, so they go in facing this way. And again, props to Synology, no screws required. I know M2 drives usually have this really flimsy little screw that you need to screw in, but these are actually really neat. They have a little clip um, on the overhead camera. You can probably see it this tiny clip here, which replaces the screw, which is really awesome. So here goes the second one. Lift the clip, and that's it. So it was that fast to install these M2 drives. So let's just put these covers back. Where's the other one? Here we go. So this was actually very, very fast. So let me just put this by side and flip this drive over carefully. Now for the setup part. So I'm just going to get some power and we will get this thing started. Everything's set up. I've got um, my OBS is working. <laughs> I had some like little problems. So um, yeah, let's just get started. Let's go to my desktop. So what we want to do is enter in the address find.synology.com and it's starting to search for my drive. Okay, it's already found it and there is one big connect button, so let's just hit that. User license agreement, of course, read all of that stuff. Check the box. And all right. Okay, and now we can start setting it up. So let's just hit setup here. 
and it wants to install the disk manager. So let's just hit run here. And oh yeah, it wants to format all the hard drives, which is absolutely fine. Just make sure that you have a backup if you do this. And now it's installing. Okay, so my disk station just restarted and this weird countdown came. So I'm just gonna wait this and see what happens. It just restarted, it made a loud beep. <laughs> it kind of scared me, but here I'm going to start to configure my um, server. So let's just get right started. Um, let's just call, what should we call this guy? Let's call it Obsidian because it's it's like a rock and it's cool. Uh, username, address, and I'll just create a password. Okay, let's hit next. Let's do install the most important updates. Tuesday and Saturday, 4.30. Yeah, that sounds fine. That sounds actually pretty cool. I'll create an account here. Give me a sec. All right, so I got the account set. That took a tiny bit because my um, Quick Connect ID was already taken, so I had to come up with a new one. Um, so yeah, that actually sounds quite good in case I lose it. I don't think that's going to happen, but why not? Let's just go for it. Um, device analytics, no thanks. Okay, so here we've got the disk system or disk station manager or DSM and um, it's giving me like a quick tutorial so okay I'll start playing around with this a tiny bit and once I've got it set up I will show you around so see you later guys <laughs> okay guys so that really sums it up um, I added the drive to my computer that was extremely straightforward and simple and I'll be start playing around with it testing it using my video editing and like doing this whole video is also going to be on the drive so I'll see how this performs and yeah if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Andy. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one. Bye.